Good morning, good morning. This is a new day and this is a new me. And yes, I'm coming to you live this morning. And it is a wonderful day. This is a glorious day. This is a beautiful day to be okay with who you are. I am so grateful this morning for another day that I'm yet here to talk with you this morning. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm just grateful this morning for all all the things that I have in my life, for all of you. I'm grateful this morning for the opportunity to come to you this morning. I'm so grateful for being here. I'm so grateful for my family. I'm so grateful for life itself. I'm just loving life and I'm just thankful to God this morning because he woke me up this morning and he didn't have to do it, but he did. And I'm so thankful that I woke up with the right mind to give him glory and to give him praise and to be thankful. And I woke up with an attitude and a gra- of gratitude and thankfulness this morning. And I didn't have to wait up this one clothed in my right mind. I didn't have to wake up from a good night's sleep. I could have tossed and turned been tormented all night, but I did not. God blessed me to get a good night's sleep. And that's a, a awesome thing. When you can get a good night's sleep, some people are struggling to go to sleep. And that's one thing I, I really want to say to you this morning. Be grateful for everything that you have. Be Thank for everything. We take so for granted the little simple things in life. Just a matter of, fact of being able to lay down and go to sleep at night. Some people cannot sleep. They can't even close their eyes for 30 minutes. They want to go to sleep, but they cannot sleep. So just that little simple thing of being able to go to sleep at night and to get a good night's rest and then to get up in the morning and be able to do your routine in the morning. That's some things that we take so for granted. And the topic this morning is accepting yourself totally. Good morning, Demetria Cuz. It's good to see you this morning. I love you and you have a blessed day as well. Good morning, uh, Mr. Vid. Vice Man, it was good to see you with me this morning. I'm so grateful that you took time out to tune in this morning. I'm super grateful to lose life because I don't know what day or what my life required at my hand. So I'm just being grateful this morning because everything that I have is not of my own accord. It's because God has been so good to me and allowed me to have these things and yes it is awesome to know that I serve God that is able to supply my every need and to meet me right where I am no I don't do everything right I don't cross on my t's I don't dot all my eyes but you know one good thing about it he'll hold me accountable he loves me in spite of what I do where I fall when I get up and how I stumble he still loved me and if he does that for me he do it for you just as well so this morning I want to read a little extra I want to say to you when you accept yourself totally when you totally accept who you are and you okay with who God made you to be the world cannot stop you no one can stop your momentum when you are are totally accepting who you are, the way you are, and you are okay with how you feel about yourself. The world, no one can stop you from achieving your goals. When you set your goals and you're comfortable with who you are, you no longer look for approval from no one else. You no longer look for somebody to co-sign what you say. You are able to stand in who you are. Are, and you are boldly and proudly as who you are. Sometimes we give way too much to what other people think about us and what they say. Listen, my friend, I just want to say to you this morning, be okay with who you are. Accept who you are today. Go through this day saying, I love me. I'm okay with who I am. I just love it. God, me. I'm excited about what is going to happen in my life. I just know God loves me so much that, listen, you got to know this within yourself. You got to be okay with who you are. Sometimes we hold things against ourselves that we need to let go. We make mistakes. Yes, we all do. So don't hold it against yourself. Let it go. Because when you let it go, you free your own mind from the bondage that we have ourselves in. We think other people are holding us in bondage. 99.9% of the time, it 
is you holding yourself in that place. So let it go. Release it today. Accept yourself for who you are. If you mess up, it's okay. Get it right and keep it moving. Let it go so that you can heal within. Sometimes we just have to take the time, sit down, Look at where we're going. Figure out what we want to do. That's number one key. You got to know what you want in this life. How can you achieve a goal when you don't even know what you want? You got to know what you want. And then once you decide what you want, you have to be focused. Focus on what you want. Set the goal at hand. Go for it. Don't allow no one else to stop you from reaching your goal. Don't even stop yourself. Sometimes we can talk ourselves out of what we want to do. Well, if I do that, I don't know. I might not want to put the work in. Or if I do, if I had to do that, then I don't want to go and I might lose this friend or they might not like it. It's not about what they like. What do you want for your life? What do you want to accomplish? Do you want to stay the way you are? Then fine. You stay the way you are. Be the best you that you can be. So listen, you have to totally accept who you are so that you can go forward. Stop looking for other people to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Happiness comes from within. If you're not happy, then you need to go inside, look at yourself and say, okay, what do I need to do to get past where I am now? What situation, if a situation arises today and it's not pleasing to you, instead of blowing off the handle, stop. Say, okay, God, what am I supposed to learn from this situation? What am I supposed to change? How do I see myself in this situation? Because life is always about learning. We are learning and ever changing. Life is always about learning. Every situation you encounter, there's a lesson to be learned. So stop and figure out, see, try to see what the lesson is that you have to learn in this situation. Look at how you are being reflected in the situation. And then you change it. You say, okay, I got it. If somebody, let's say, if somebody blows up at you today, and I know the first thing we want to do is go back and retaliate. No, stop. Think. Okay, let me stop. Because I go back at them the way they just came at me, it's going to be a mess in here. So stop. Think before you open your mouth. Okay, how am I? What's the best way for me to handle this? This. How am I? What am I supposed to get out of this? And I guarantee you, if you stop and think about it, then you'll come out differently and you will come out on top instead of looking crazy. That people want you to do because sometimes people try to provoke you and I'm just being real people try to provoke you deliberately to see what they can get you to do they provoke you to make you act crazy because they want to see you act crazy because you say that's above me and that's not who I am but they will try to make you come out of your character so it is up to you as to whether or not you're gonna allow them to do that so be Accept the total you that you are because the word of God said we are fearfully and wonderfully made and there is greatness in you. You are so much more than the outer appearance that you see. There is so much more on the inside of you that you haven't even tapped into yet. So if you just take a moment, take some time and sit down and go to yourself sometimes, we have to do that throughout the day. After you've taken on everything else, after you've solved everybody else's problems, after you've done everything you were required to do throughout the day, it's time for you to take a moment and be good to yourself. It is only 15 minutes. If it's only 10 minutes just to sit and appreciate yourself, 
because you totally accept who you are. Everybody is not going to accept who you are. So that's why it is so important that you know who you are and that you accept yourself and you love yourself to the point where you don't need anybody else's value validation to make you feel good about yourself. I think that's a rough thing to live your life needing somebody else's validation and their approval because you're never going to measure up to what somebody think that you ought to be. So therefore, you're going to always set yourself up to fail because somebody is always going to find something that they don't like about you. And that is fine because that's their opinion that's their right they don't have to like you and you don't shouldn't worry about it you should be okay if you don't like me that's fine it has no bearing on who i am that's your issue not mine nine times out of ten when people don't like you for no reason at all they don't know nothing about you don't know where you've been don't know where you come from that's got in their head that you think you all this well my friend let me shed some light on that but it is they see something in you that they desire to be and you are a constant reminder that they can have this but they don't want to do the work so be totally acceptable of who you are accept yourself for who you are today love yourself this is a new day and this is the new me and i am so excited about my life listen you got to get excited about yourself because if you're not excited about self and you don't love yourself what is it worth the living what is it worth the living don't allow other people to create who you are you create who you are you be who you want to be and I guarantee you you'll be much happier you won't be so upset all the time life won't frustrate you so much when you allow yourself to be the beautiful you that God has created you to be you will watch your own self change and you will be like wow this feels pretty good I should have been doing this all the while stop allowing people to design your life you create your own life. You create the life that you want to have by going in and looking at yourself and changing the perception of how you see yourself. Ask God to show you yourself through his eyes. Stop looking at yourself, looking at your flaws and your blunders and your mistakes. Don't do that because you're going to not measure up to who I want you to be. Accept yourself. Say, God, I thank you. Help me to be who you created me me to and when you put him first and you let him show you your path and when you let him show you how he wants you to be then you're being because that's the only one that can tell you because he created you so you got to go to the source that's the one that created you man didn't create you god created you so that's the one you should be asking and you should be looking for the approval or the the violation from that's the one that's going to give you the right path and the right road to take all right this is a new day and this is a new me and i'm so excited for all of you that came on today and listen we got something special coming up um next week i want to do something for you guys naked and i want to set you a challenge out so be be looking out for it okay and i love you i'm so excited today this is a new day and this is a new me and i'm excited about today and i'm excited about you i love you and thank you for tuning in this is all right we're gonna make it today and listen accept yourself totally for who you are be the best you that you can be god bless you and i love you bye-bye